time for your Fort Report. I'm David Poe from the Fort Bliss Public Affairs Office. In this edition, William Beaumont Army Medical Center hosted the 2022 Regional Health Command Central Best Leader Competition earlier this month, which included tackling the Ninja Warrior Obstacle Course over on East Bliss. Specialist Elijah Ingram from the 24th t Base was there April 10th and caught up with one of our own participants from Beaumont, who joined more than 60 competitors from throughout the region. The winning team from Reynolds Army Health Clinic at Fort Sill, Oklahoma will represent RHCC at the U.S. Army Medical Command Best Leader Competition. Following that, we have a different type of Army, the Army of Child Development Professionals that support military families here at Fort Bliss. Skies Unlimited, an Army-endorsed Youth Quality of Life program managed by FMWR, had their first of two open houses April 9th to share their classes with new Bliss families. The second will be tomorrow on West Bliss. Check them out for time and location. From Cassidy Gate to Qatar and back, your Fort Report starts now. My name is Sergeant Sherman Coleman, Public Health Command for Rowley. The purpose of the Best Leader Competition is to find out who's the top, who is willing to go above and beyond to prove what they, their knowledge and then put their stuff on the spot and show their vulnerability, but at the same time, show why they are the best. Try the rope again or burpees? Rope again. All right. The challenging aspects would be not knowing what's going to happen day to day. You can have like a blueprint of what's going to happen, but you don't know how it's going to be coming after you. And then just to put, just put yourself up to the test of you might not be good enough, but you might be just right for the test that's at hand at that current time. I'm Specialist Mackenzie Maynard. I am attached to William Beaumont Army Medical Center here at Fort Bliss. What motivated me was, well, I'm here to win. So me and my squad trained really hard to be here. So we're here to bring it on. I think this entire um, ch uh, competition is very challenging. Um, but I think that the main thing that's going to be a real struggle is keeping the endurance for the entirety of the entire week. So. so my team and I trained together through this entire obstacle course. Obviously not the exact same way it's set up, but we trained really hard and I feel like just like having that motivation that we're doing it for a squad really helped push me through it. I'm just really proud of my teammates because I know we're all coming out here and pushing our hardest. Um, even though some of us may struggle and everything, we all come together and work hard and we're in it to win it, so. I would tell other soldiers looking to prepare for the for this competition in the future, um, don't just go out here and try to be the best, but just do your best and it's gonna bring you a long way. Skies Unlimited. The FMWR Youth Enrichment Program for Kids at Fort Bliss, Texas shared their classes with prospective students and parents during their open house at their Logan Heights facility April 9th. During the late morning get-together, military kids were treated to face painting, surprises thanks to sponsors, as well as demonstrations in dance, gymnastics, mommy and me kinder classes, and fencing as just some of the many classes available at Fort Bliss. A fee-based program, Skies classes are available to military kids and adolescents through all phases of their youth. With approximately 30,000 troops stationed at Bliss, another 70,000 military family members call the installation home. Joy Klickener, the Skies Unlimited Director, credited the success of the program to its passionate instructors and encouraged new Bliss families to check them out. So when Skies interviews for instructors, we're looking for someone who is um, knowledgeable and passionate and wants to share their love of their activity, whether it be piano or dance or gymnastics. From the ages of 1 until 18, we have classes ranging in piano and guitar and a dance of all ages. The April 9th open house was the first of two that Skies Unlimited will have this month. The next one will be at their main facility on West Bliss, April 23rd. For more information on Skies Unlimited at Fort Bliss, visit bliss.armymwr.com and search Skies Unlimited. Reporting from Northeast El Paso, Texas for The Garrison, I'm David Poe.